Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your glutton Matt having some Christmas dinner today. So today what I'm having is all the staples that my family eats during Christmas dinner. So I got the turkey, the mashed potatoes, stuffing, Swedish meatballs, beans, and of course pierogies, and also some pumpkin pie for dessert. But let's get right into it. So I just have some gravy in here. I'm not gonna forget the gravy either. And I love me some gravy, so I always just drench everything in it. Get it all over everything here. But I hope everyone's having a happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate. And get rid of that. So I don't know what I'm going to start with first. I'm just going to get right into it. Let's have some potatoes. Mm. There we go. I don't usually go really wild on the potatoes, to be honest. I'm more of a stuffing guy. Let's have some of that too. There we go. And that's some good stuff. Mm -hmm. And actually, so my family actually had uh, we had our Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve. So this is basically my leftovers for today. I'm not actually ditching my family to like do a video or anything while they like eat upstairs or something and I'm down here alone. Let's have some of this turkey. I'm not even gonna use a knife, I think. I'm just gonna like eat big chunks of it. There we go. And get some, get a bunch of gravy all over the table. There you go, nice big piece of turkey. Mm. It's actually, I finally just cleared up today, but here, Ontario, here in Ontario where we were living, we, just had, we had a crazy huge storm for like the last two days. So it started, it started on Friday and actually like it will start Friday morning, but super high winds and it started, it was warm out. So it started with rain. But then it's, it turned to snow like Friday afternoon and then just went all through the night, Friday night into Saturday and just went all through Saturday and through Saturday night. It was crazy. I think it was like they're saying it was like one of the worst like blizzards like we've had in a long time. It's like, a, like I hear like there's like just so many people like so many like so many places closed, so many roads closed. People that like so many accidents and people that like went off into the ditches and stuff. I'm gonna bust into some of these pierogies. I'm, so that's a big thing in my family. So pierogies are like from my mom's side of the family, her Polish Ukrainian side sort of thing. Mm. But yeah, they weren't even like advising people travel at all like over this weekend for Christmas or anything. I actually, I work Saturday morning. So I've just been picking up, I've been picking up extra shifts ever since I got back from Japan, just to like make up for the money I spent there. Because I spent a lot of money. So I worked, I worked Christmas Eve on Saturday, yesterday. And I actually, my, my driveway was fine. So, cause it was such high winds, right? Like it was like blowing the snow too. So like it blew a lot of the snow to like the sides. So my driveway was fine and the road was fine. But so like, there's a part, there's like a, like my, my, my street goes straight. And then there's like a big corner at the end where there's a park right on the corner where it like opens up to a field. So like the wind blew a big snow drift across the, across the road. And I actually got stuck in it at like four, four fifty in the morning, like Four, quarter to five, four fifteen in the morning. It's busting into some of these beans though. But yeah, it was like the road was fine. And I was driving and driving because the visibility was so low and it was on a corner. Like I was driving, driving fine on like on the road. And all of a sudden I just got to like this snow drift that just like came up on me out of nowhere. And I like went right into it. 
and my car basically like bottomed right out. It was like at least like a foot and a half or two feet of snow. It was, it was like a lot. Mm. So I think, I think I almost like, I spent like almost an hour trying to get out, get, get, get my car out. I honestly thought, I thought I had to like call a tow truck. I like, I ran back to my house, grabbed a shovel, ran back to my car. I didn't want to wake my mom up or anything. At like almost five in the morning. So I was trying to get myself unstuck by like digging around my car and like going back and forth in my car. And I tried, I wanted to like back right out. Eventually, like I had to go back to the house. And I was like, I had to get my mom to help me. She was like sleeping. I swear, I thought she was like, could have been like in a coma or something. And I was just like yelling like, mom, mom, trying to wake her up. Could not wake her up. I was like freaking out the entire time. So like I ran back to the house, tried to wake her up, couldn't get her up, ran back out to my car, tried some more times to get myself back out, ran back, couldn't do it, ran back to the house, tried to wake my mom, mom up some more. And there's like, it's like almost like before five in the morning, right? And so there's like no one up at that time, especially on a Saturday, right? A Saturday on Christmas Eve. There's no one else like up and about like there to like see you and like try to help you, right? So I swear I thought I had to get a tow truck to help me. But eventually I, got, I woke my mom up. I had my mom help me. So I, I had her go in the car. Obviously I didn't have my mom like, I didn't, I didn't go in the car and then have my mom push the car. I had my mom go in the car and I put, I did the pushing. But we eventually got it out. Mm. Baked beans all done. That would have been a bad start to my Christmas Eve though just to like go into work. Like when I could have just like called in or something. Apparently like, apparently the, 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 what am I trying to say? The tow truck drivers were so overwhelmed. Like, cause my, my sister got her, her vehicle stuck that day later on. But apparently the tow truck drivers were so overwhelmed with calls that like they had to turn her down. She just had to like leave her car where it was like the entire day until like they're freed up and then like a tow truck could eventually come and get her out. So I don't even know if like a tow truck would have been able to like come and help me at that time. I might've just been like leaving my car right on the street. That was the thing too, like during that whole ordeal, like it was, my car was like right in the middle of the road on my street. So I was like running back and forth, just like letting it run in there, sitting there. I mean, I wasn't afraid of anyone stealing it. If they, if they could get it out, they deserve to steal it, I think. If they were able to get it out all by themselves. Mm. So some of these meatballs, I'm neglecting the meatballs. Yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have just like not have gone into work. But with like me coming back from Japan and like then coming back from Japan and then Christmas right away, I knew I was just like gonna be spending tons of money. I want to make a bit, make up a bit of extra cash before the holidays. Honestly, like after I got stuck though, at least for me, it wasn't that bad of a drive. Like I don't mind driving in bad weather, like slippery conditions or anything. So like I backed out of that snow drift and then just went the opposite way down the street and just took a different route to work that I usually do. And it was slippery and there was some more snow drifts. But after that, as soon as I saw a snow drift, I just like, just like, just like, like slammed down on the, on the gas and just like drove right through it as fast as I could. So I knew I wouldn't get stuck and I made it into work just fine. Mm. There we go. Yeah, I'm sure, like, I can't remember all the snowstorms way back since I was a kid. I'm sure, like, we've had bad snowstorms. They're, like, the, like, the weather stations in the news were saying, like, it's due to, like, climate change and stuff. And I'm like, it's a snowstorm. You're supposed to have snowstorms during the winter. Like, what are you talking about? Why does, like, a snowstorm during the winter have anything to do with climate change? I think it's just, like, we haven't... I think because of climate change, though, like, we haven't experienced, like, a snowstorm like that at that time in such a long time that now it's weird to get a snowstorm like that where we live. 
because I know like all in recent years, like this is like the <clears throat> the first white Christmas we've had in a long time, at least as far as I can remember. Hmm. Because like, let me finish my food, Matt. It tends to like where I live, like snow around like late November, early December. And then we get like a really warm period after that where it like sort of like melts and goes away. And then like, we just don't have snow by Christmas. And then it gets cold again after Christmas into January and then it snows and then we have snow for the rest of the winter sort of thing. So just the way, it, like the way it always like works is just like, it snows and then it melts and then we don't have any snow for Christmas and then it snows again. And that's sort of like the way I've like remembered it. Like it's like a pattern. That's the way I've remembered it for like a long time now. So I guess that's why I can see like it being weird to have a big blizzard like that. But it's like we live in Canada, right? It's not like it's like it's winter. It's not unheard of to get snow in the winter. It's like, come on, guys. You're blaming snow in the winter on global warming. Come on. Seems kind of weird to me. Let's finish this turkey off though. The only thing that made it worse was like how I said it rained. It rained Friday. So there was like that layer of ice. So it rained and then turned to snow. So there was that layer of ice under the snow that really made it worse. Or if you did get stuck and then your wheels are spinning on the ice underneath the snow, that just makes it even harder to get out. But it could have been a lot worse than it was. Mm. There we go. All done. That wasn't that much food, was it? I feel like I was just like, I wasn't even thinking about the food as I was like talking about my conversation there. But hopefully it looked good. Let's move on to the pumpkin pie. So there we go. Pumpkin pie. I don't want it to like fall off on the table. So I got to hold on to it. There we go. But was there anything there that like you guys, anything there that you guys don't eat or anything missing that you guys have on your holidays that I didn't eat here? Let me know. Because I know a lot, I tell a lot of people when I tell, when I tell people I know that we have pierogies for like our holiday dinners, people always think that's so weird. Like pierogies, why, what do you eat pierogies? Like pierogies, that's so weird. I'm like, yeah, like how can you not have pierogies during your holidays? That's the, that's weird. That's what seems weird to me. Let's put a generous helping of cool up on there. Mm. There we go. I think I'll just use this fork still. Just lick it off a bit. There we go. I think like, for some reason I was almost worried that it was like gonna be too much food. I don't know why. Like I was like, look, cause like I was like looking at it, like that looks like a lot of food. One of the rare instances where you actually eat, see me eat something other than fast food. Ooh. What do you prefer with your pies though? Cool Whip or Cool Whip or vanilla ice cream? I feel like, does anyone eat, does anyone actually eat like vanilla ice cream with pumpkin pie? It doesn't seem like a sort of a thing with pumpkin pie. I know with like apple pie, I would definitely lean towards, I would definitely lean towards vanilla ice cream with apple pie. But I think I prefer Cool Whip with pumpkin, pumpkin pie. I'm actually getting quite full of them. Mm. There we go. Almost done. If I can like get this. I'm just gonna have to use my hands for this. I didn't bring a knife with me. I never look ahead in hindsight. There we go. All done. 
And it's my Christmas leftovers finished. That was really, really good. I think, I don't know what I'm gonna eat later on. I know my brother and my sister and them are gonna be coming. They were here this morning and they're gonna be coming back later on, I think around supper time. I mean, actually, I'm eating this a little early, like in the afternoon just to get this video out. I hope to get it out by supper time, Christmas day. But yeah, that was filling. I don't think I can eat any more like that today. For sure, that might be my only meal today. I might snack on some chocolate and candies. Who knows? Ooh. There's a nice little burp there. I'm not sure if I'll have a video out for New Year's. I might like take a break now until the New Year's. So if there isn't, if there isn't a video out on like New Year's, because New Year's Day is on a Sunday too, right? Ne exactly. Next one week from now. I don't think I'm going to do a video next week. I think I might take a break from now and then maybe like my next video might be like a week or two into January. So just like, don't freak out that I'm like running away again and not coming back. I'll definitely have, I will get some videos out in January for sure. I just, I think I actually did a little bit more videos than I planned to do as soon as I got back from Japan. Cause I didn't plan to like go hard at it. Like I have, I think I've actually stuck to like almost one video a week now that I've, as soon as I came back from Japan, which I didn't really intend to do. So I might go a little bit slower into the new year. Who knows? But like I said, don't, don't like freak out and take that as a sign that I'm, I'm leaving again. I might just actually cut back. Who knows? So if I don't see you guys new year's day, happy new year's. I hope everyone has a new happy new year's and a good time into the new year, 2023. Keep saying new year over and over again. I think I'm just running out of things to say. So I'll end the video here and I'll see you guys next time until the next. I almost had the video perfect. I forgot, I forgot to say, like the video if you did and subscribe to the channel if you aren't. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Until then, peace out.